The La Follette parking lot has been an issue for many years. From not having student parking to the giant traffic jam after school, students want a change. We interviewed Chad Weezy, the Director of Building and Technological Services for MMSD, Sean Storch, Head Principal of La Follette High School, and others about the current state of our parking lot and what could be done to make it a better and safer place for students and staff. I'm Sean Storch, I'm the Principal of La Follette High School, I've been here for one year. My name is Chad Weezy. Currently the Director of Building and Technical Services for Madison Schools. I was at La Falla for 10 years total before I took this new position. My name is Kevin Blakesley. I've been at La Falla for six, eight months, I don't know, <laughs> not long. Uh, I'm Zach Thistle and I'm in 10th grade, so I'm a sophomore. I'm Benzel Jones and I'm 12th grader at La Falla. The, there wasn't funding in last year's budget to do the LaFala parking lot. Uh, it was on a list of projects to complete uh, during the summer. Um, I talked to Mr. Storch when he started here as principal, and the parking lot was in really bad shape. Um, and uh, we decided, even though it was going to be a little bit of a headache, that to, to, to do the parking lot out of this year's budget, and that's what we did, uh, meant that by the time the school board approved the $200,000 in upgrades to the lot, um, and by the time we got the contractors all set to go, uh, it was the, the, the summer was ending, um, and we knew we were, gonna, uh, we were gonna have to do it during the start of the school year. Uh, it's, it's pretty dangerous, and sometimes I bring my kid to school for choreography rehearsals or things, and he's still learning how to not walk into the middle of the road, and some of you 16-year-old little kids or flying off the handle could hurt somebody, including your friends or whatever. As far as the parking lot, more tickets because I'm tired of students parking in my spot. Uh, yeah, there have been some fender benders. A lot of just bumping into each other. Um, I've been a part of two accidents in the parking lot myself. And uh, one time when I was a teacher here, there was a student who was just learning how to drive backed out of a parking spot, but hit the gas so hard that they careened out of control and smashed into my car. So things like that happen, and uh, you know we try our best to be safe and keep our parking lot safe. There was this one really neat time where we were trying to cross, and then somebody in their white car came speeding along and almost ran into us, so we had to jump back, and then they were cackling maniacally as they drove on. I was driving on a little speed bump, you know, over too quick, and then <laughs> hit the back of the car. The pickup, it just, it seems terribly un inefficient, and I don't think that the, uh, I don't think all people who pick up are as patient, or, or they're usually parking in spots they're not supposed to, and they're just as bad as students and taking staff spots or wherever. I think the drop-off zone is better now that it's wider. I think that uh, I haven't been out there to observe if people are getting in and out quickly. I think that's also an area that we could do more, uh, more observation and then again get our security assistance out there to help direct traffic. We actually have talked about it on our security agenda to have uh, security assistance out there to help direct traffic and, and help people know where to go and where to stop and how to keep moving so that traffic keeps flowing. 